welcome back to Country Boy on Cam with me, Finney. In this episode, we're going to be talking to you about chokes, gauges, and some of the misconceptions around cartridges. So, let's get right into it. Chokes. What are chokes? Chokes are a constriction in the end of your muzzle, constricting the shot as it comes through, making your pattern denser or more evenly spread. We get two formats of chokes in the UK. We get multi-choke and we get fixed. A fixed choke gun is just where the barrels are made and they're bored out so that the choke's already in it. And they... The beauty of a multi-choke, you can change your pattern just by unscrewing and screwing in a new choke. So you get your most open, which would be cylinder, and you generally, in most guns, your tightest would be full, meaning that you would have a real dense pattern at further ranges. So in the UK, we really kind of have five to six main chokes that we all use. So I'm just going to overlay a chart now just to show you and talk to you about what they do. So I want to draw your attention to the left hand side of the chart and as you can see we have our choke size in UK format. At the top of the chart you have true cylinder going down to improved, quarter, half, three quarters and full. If you look at the far right of the chart there, you've got our percentage of shot in a 30 inch circle at 40 yards. And this is just only a theory, so this might not be for all guns. And as you can see, in full, we get 70% of our shot pattern, which is superb. It means we've got a really dense pattern and we can get some really nice clean kills. However, being 70% of our shot, it means we're gonna be having a really, really tight pattern at say 20 yards. So meaning you're going to miss a lot more if it's pigeons on the decoys or close range clays. You'll be either missing or hitting them. Advice for a beginner would be to use something like quarter as it would give you a more open and evenly spread pattern. Right, so as you can see here, we have some various other chokes like this one. This is a pattern master goose choke. And as you can see, it's got some pulsing. And what that is for, it's for uh, to stop the muzzle lift as when it's shot and it's an extended choke as well meaning it can just be nibbed up outside of the barrel made finger tight quite easily accessible you'll see a lot of extended chokes like this are on the clay grounds people prefer them one because they look nice two because they're easy to swap uh, between stands meaning if there's a far 70 yard cross up they can quickly change into a tighter choke just to add to the Pattern Master goose choke, this is just an aftermarket choke for shooting geese and ducks at a further range, giving you a tighter constriction. That doesn't mean you aren't able to shoot geese with your own standard half choke, because you would be shooting still within your capabilities. As you can see here, these are internal multi chokes, and these are preferred on game shoots. As an older tradition, they didn't like the extended as they didn't believe they belonged in a game shoot, but that's no longer true, it's just personal preference overall. Right, so now we're gonna go on to gauges. Right, so what are gauges? Gauges pretty much is just a change in the diameter of bore, like this. This is a 10 bore, as you can see it's quite a large, three and a half inch cartridge. And this is a 410, one of the smallest, and I'm not sure if you can see that there, but one's, the 10 bore is much wider than the 410. So let's start off with this little 410, a little three inch size six magnum. Generally, this is what most people started off on, a little 410. Not really seen in game shooting as they're a little bit too small, not a heavy enough load, but generally used for like ratting, uh, rabbiting, round paddock, stuff like that. Next here, I've got the 20 ball cartridge. This is uh, 21 gram seven and a half, generally a clay load beauty of a 20 ball is it's very light, nice, easy to carry around all day. The only downside is if you're putting a heavier cartridge through it like a 30 or a 32 gram load, they can kick quite a lot, so you, that's the only downside with the 20. But a nice, perfect cartridge and will never be undergunned by the 12. Here we've got a two and three quarter 12 ball. Uh, probably the most common type of cartridge and gauge along the country. You can get various types of ammunition uh, ranging from 21 gram 9 clay load 
all the way up to a, I think the biggest is a 54 gram BB or SG Wire M2 but a very various range of ammunition you can get for the 12 the only problem is they can be quite heavy for some people but the beauty is now there's light models coming out in 12s there's heavier models coming out in 20s and they would be generally our two most common types of gauges in the country this is a 10 ball or a 10 gauge generally used on the foreshore for wild fanning like uh, goose flighting and some people do shoot ducks from a little bit heavy I would have thought but it does the trick and then you do get stuff like a, a 28 bore which is between the 12 uh, between the 410 and the 20 nice little gun perfect for youngsters starting out it's a nice light gun light loads but can have a very nice pattern and you get a 16 bore not as common but some people do still have them I've got one myself a nice sort of refined cartridge but you don't get a large range of ammunition for them. You get four bores, you get eight bores as well. They're very large uh, guns, generally used on wild failing once again. So the two most common gauges you can get really, like I said, was the 12 and the 20. You'll see most people using them. 20 is a beautiful little cartridge, nice on game shoots, and so is the 12. So it's all about personal preference here. Right, so I'm going to cover some of the cartridge misconceptions that you get. So, we've got two cartridges here, and as you can see, this one has a 30 gram 5 on it, and this one, where is it, a 6 with 30 grams, I can't even see it now, on there, there is a 30. So, what does the 30 stand for? It stands for the amount of shot in weight there is in the cartridge, and this will be the same across all of the cartridges you get. So, you have a 30 gram in a 20 ball it will be the same as a 30 gram in a 12 ball. There is no difference. Some people think it means the powder in weight. It's not, it's the amount of shot there is. So, what does the number five and the number six stand for? Well, it stands for the size of the shot, right? So, a five will be slightly bigger than a six. So, in the 30 gram six, we'll have slightly more shot than we will in the 30 gram five. And this will be, once again, the same across all of the gauges and the cartridge types. So you can have a 21 gram 9, being small but dust, and you can have a 36 gram SG, being quite large pieces of shot. The last thing I want to cover is the length on brass. As you can see on this uh, 20 ball cartridge here, we have a nice long silver brass. And on this 12, we have a very shallow brass. Does this mean this is more powerful than this? No, it means absolutely nothing. It's just for personal aesthetics and looks. Some people believe that uh, a shallower case won't eject as well, but I've never had that problem. And it's just all down to personal preference. Right, so I hope that's covered any questions that you have on cartridges. So you now know that the big number, like the 30 gram, stands for the weight in shot. You know that the single number, like the five, the six, the nine, stands for the size of shot and you know that the brass length means nothing at all and it's just down to personal aesthetics and what you like best if you have any more questions on cartridges or chokes like these please let me know down in the comments below that's all we've got to talk about today i'd just like to say that we've got a few more videos coming up once we get out of lockdown like pattern testing wood pigeon decoy uh, some in the field duck nest tubes stuff like that just wanted to get some of the beginner level stuff out of the way so you need the, the basic information. This has been me, Vinnie Bean, on Country Boy on Cam.